Happy New Year, guys. This is YouTube, right, Ronald? Mm -hmm. We are shooting our YouTube video and we are starting this off with a bang. So, our first cooking video for the new year? Yeah, first cooking. I think first so, yeah. cooking video for the new year. And what are we doing? This is Eros I got here. I got me some cassava right here. So that's cassava. This is Eros and we are doing a cow heel soup. What is cow heel? Technically it's cow foot, right? But like they're saying, what, what, what's the new trending thing now? Of course, some Guyanese. <laughs> we call the entire cow foot cow heel. <laughs> Why the hell not? <laughs> All right, so we cooking a cow foot soup. Why am I doing this? Or, uh, First culinary trip to Suriname was a week ago and um, learning more and more about food. So while we're there, obviously we're gonna get in contact with restaurants. We let them know that we're there and we would love to come by, sample some food, cook something. And one of the things I found out about Suriname is they're still in tune with this soup thing in every restaurant most of the creole restaurant they would have a soup and what's the soup of the day is the taro root or the edo yes Guyanese people else places they call it different names right so edo is called tara else places taro root is edo all right so in Suriname, they would have the taro soup chicken very rare they would have the salt beef inside but it's mostly chicken mostly chicken all right and i decide to when we come back together i'll do a a, a nice edo soup the Guyanese way cow heel soup or cow foot soup what the jamaicans would say right it is cow foot because the entire foot of the cow, you cut it up, nice sizes. So come over here, Ronald. We have a few things going on here. We have a special guest that's coming to taste this soup. So I got some mango sour I'm preparing there. And over to my right, over here, we got some white pudding, Guyanese style white pudding. All right, so adding my in the pot already, we already had the um, the cow heel and we got some split peas inside there with some smoked chicken. Or how do you pronounce chicken in Suriname? Chicken. 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 <laughs> Love the Surinamese accent. Big up to all the Surinamese people. We even had a, an opportunity. Uh, we met the prime minister, the prime minister's mother, which was fantastic. We had an opportunity. Well, well we were going to meet with the the prime minister but um his schedule was really really busy and they told us hey you can you can still meet with mom because she likes what we're doing too and this young lady is 93 years old all right we got the smoked chicken the cow heel you have to pressure it right it, it takes a very long time to get soft we're gonna stir that up. Uh, just letting you know what I have inside here, right? We just add the edo and the cassava, the cow heel, smoked chicken, and the split peas. It's already fused really nicely together. And now, as it come to a boil, we're gonna start up. So, look at that. Like I said, of course, I'm Guyanese. We call the whole entire cow foot cow heel. Can't stop we with Dubai. Curry chicken or chicken curry is we own, right? So, so it's a cow heel soup, nice split peas. I got some coconut milk in there. Good. So let's season this. Dainy's way. All right. In the soup, the scallions, shallot, scallions, green onions, all these different name it has, right? So whatever you name it, you call it that. Whatever you want to call it is done. Can I have some red peppers too? Do we have peppers? No! 
onions. Do the entire thing, why not? It's gonna be a lovely soup. You can't skimp on the soup. All right, fantastic. You smell that, Ronald? Mm -hmm. Smells good. Got me some carrots. I like this hole just like it. The top of the onions, we're gonna add this in last, right? So what I'm gonna do is just give it a cut, make it a little smaller, put it in my bowl, save that. I got me some basil, or what Guyanese would call married man pork. And not one Guyanese could tell me what is married man pork, but the real name for married man pork is basil you have about 65 different types of basil and this is one of them this here let me see which one this is this is regular basil this is regular basil very strong it's pungent and Guyanese is gonna say is my mom pork this why is it different because no, 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 no. The name of that is basil. You have chocolate basil, mint basil, lemongrass basil, the regular basil, which is that. You have Thai basil. You have peppermint basil. We can either do that or give it a full. I don't want it to bend and break, right? Or you. You know, the whole cutting technique. We're gonna do a whole video on, on how to cut, right? See my hands, it's not coming up off of my fingernails. It's not passing that. techniques that you can use at home too so I have that in there in so that's my flat leaf parsley again they call it celery I got my married mom pork basil that's gonna be going in now hold just like that in all right so the cow heel soup is coming up nicely of course I'm Guyanese we recycle every container that we get in the house. It's something that we learn from our, mo our mothers, our parents. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, oh, forger's coffee. No, sir, this is sugar. <laughs> That's a sugar jar. <laughs> and what's the other one? Um, Maxwell House? Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, forger's, the best part of waking up. With forger's in your cup? No, buddy. Of course, I'm Guyanese. We recycle containers. We got forgers, we got Maxwell House. So we got white sugar, brown sugar. <laughs> A little bit of salt. So I'm making up some soft dumplings. Here, so it's a cow foot soup. Big up to all my Jamaican brethren and my Suriname brethren. The folks in Suriname, they, they have soup every day in the Creole restaurant. So the choices are dear, you know? And with this, you don't have to add baking powder, baking soda, none of that. This self-rising flour, it has all of that inside of it already. Small dumpling. This is number 12. Yes, because it's self-rising flour. And even to this is like too big, so let me break that down. Because you don't want it to blow up in the pot. It doesn't have to be perfect shape, you know what I mean? Going in there, and it's going to take its own shape. All right, Ronald, we already added a little, some, some first, and then now here's the... Next set, look, look how that float up nicely there. But when the heat goes down, right, it's gonna shrink again. You see? 
it's nice and eerie there man just add that you want to separate it those are the dumplings that's going to help this broth a little bit get it a little bit thicker too and this is a hearty soup this is going to be filling you know but that cow heel man that cow foot go ahead run over. remember we didn't add any um flavors as yet eh? just the cow foot the smoked chicken some coconut milk the split peas mm -hmm. Ooh. You don't have to do much to this. Come, come, taste. It's perfect thickness. You got the perfect thickness and everything, mm -hmm. right, right, Ronald? So, we're gonna add some chicken bouillon. Of course, we're gonna need It shapes like a cube, and guess what we're going to do? We call it a cube. Chicken bouillon. Maggie's. All right? You wouldn't say chicken bouillon, you know, or the Maggie season, we would say Q. <laughs> Got me some ginger powder here. All right, I add an, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon pepper to give it that taste. Some of that garlic flakes, garlic and parsley. And then I'm going to add the top of my scallions or the top of the shallot or the bottom, bottom top, whatever you want to call it is dough, right? If you want to fight with yourself in the comment section, you can do that. It's not scallions, dough is shallot. Again, fight with yourself. All right. And for, if you're looking for grandma flavors, right? Here, this is what we're gonna do to add grandma flavor. Cinnamon, add a cinnamon stick into that. And that right there is gonna take you back into grandma's kitchen. That was the old folks recipe. I'm gonna add some pimento seeds, allspice. That's gonna be a fantastic flavored, well flavored soup right here. <clears throat> now, back over here, give it a stir. We're gonna turn this pot down, thickness is right. This soup is practically finished, right? Turn that down, and we taste it again, guys. Now we're getting the flavors in there. Bro, mm -hmm. well flavored soup. Just a little bit more salt. A little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. When it when it sits, the spice will come up. It's gonna come right up. Mm -hmm. All right, look at that. Nice cow heel soup with some smoked chicken from Suriname. So we're paying homage to the Suriname folks. We just came back, just like what we do with everything else. Once we go to a country, we come back, we bring something back. Um, well, this is not bringing back to Ghana, right? Ghana, oh, we always do a soup here, but I see that that tradition is dying down. And hopefully with this video that we're gonna have folks um, go back and revamp their recipe or their grandma recipe and bring that soup out. Here is lime. Again, we're gonna be on the moon, right? With this lime, we're gonna take it straight hanging out with the stars. Check this. Check this out right now. Oh, the chef forget to put back the butter inside. Now oh, we walk in so high. So we got some fresh squeezed lime we're gonna add to this soup. And then now you gotta taste this. So this is my secret recipe. Lime is an amazing product substitute for salt if you're not if you're fully idol and you don't need the salt and thing lime you can cook your rice and cook your meals with lime juice all right and use the rhyme of the the peel of the lime yeah man add some deep flavor there all right so
Where's your spoon, bud? Got your spoon in? Good. Give that a stir. Tell me what you think now with this lime just added to the soup. Mm hmm Bro. You have a nice tiny flavor. It's just like you like the I'm waiting for my pat on the shoulder, bro. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my <laughs> pat on the shoulder. That's it, right? Like here, the bro. um Thank the you. lady in the sorry now with the restaurant, they use um I think it was orange. Uh-huh. To yeah. add to the soup. Yeah. Alright, I use mm -hmm. lime. And that's my secret. So there you have it. Cow food soup finished. We're gonna plate now, get some nice photos, and the ending to this soup right here that I'm gonna sit and enjoy my cow heel soup on my day off, showcasing what Suriname has and what Ghana has. All right, so they have a soup in every restaurant, they do that, Creole restaurant, and you come together, you can get this too. But at the Backyard Cafe, you must request this if you would like to have this. Look at that. Got a nice cow foot soup, look at that. Nice chunks of that cow foot. Ronald camera fogging up the place. Steve. Good. All right, good. It's very exciting, right? I told you we have uh, uh, visitors coming and now we have visit Ghana here, Stacy Rahman, she's here. We have Chris in the hammock, that's his place right there. He comes and every time he goes to that hammock right there, that's like his office, right? So these guys are here and Stacy's gonna taste up this soup, All right? So, so this is- You your... wanna taste taste from the pot first there, uh, Stacy? Yes, your the, famous the... Cowheel. Cowheel soup. So right. you know there's a trend going around that Yes, uh, uh, of course we're Guyanese. We call the, the whole entire foot the cow foot cow heel. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so it's a, cow, it's a cow foot soup, but you know, mm. Guyanese style, it's a cow heel soup. Mm. Let me get you started. That cow heel got to be right on top there. Get some wow, nice dumplings really inside there. Ah, you like? Wow. Get some of that, that, that carrots. Look good. That looks good. And we also have some smoked chicken in there. There you go, Stacy. Mm -hmm. And mm. we finish now. Soup tastes great. Nice hearty soup. You got some nice dumplings and thing in there. Right? Perfection. Yeah. Stacy, it's always a pleasure to have you guys over. And especially at lunchtime. On a rainy day. Yep. This is just the perfect, perfect thing for a rainy day. Yep. Guys, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Delvin Adams, Backyard Cafe. Visit Ghana. Make sure you check out their um, Facebook page. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. All right? Peace and love, guys. Don't forget, keep our city clean.